The world of The Legend of the Five Rings has been home to many great games, but never one like this. Get ready for a game of riches and rivals set in the beloved world of Rokugan. I'm Amy Dallin, and today at Good Time Society, we have a preview of the first Eurogame style entry in the L5R family, Office Dog's delicious new board game, River of Gold. Did I say delicious? I mean beautiful, obviously. I'm not gonna lick it. I'm not gonna lick that shiny, shiny board. In River of Gold, you'll set sail down the legendary river as a merchant allied to one of Rokugan's classic clans. As you build, trade, garner influence, and hope for a little divine favor to help you outshine your enemies and emerge as the greatest clan in the Emerald Empire. I love this because look, we all love a classic samurai battle, but as old school L5R players know, there's more than one kind of victory. And in this elegant and deceptively simple game of favor and fortune, you'll have to choose how you navigate these waters. These swirling, hypnotically lovely waters. In River of Gold, you'll play for one of four clans, and in the optional included mini expansion, draw on powerful patrons to wield the elegance of the crane, the strength of the crab, the cunning of the scorpion, or the stormy might of the mantis in building the finest trade route through Rokugan. On each turn, you can build along the river, adding shrines, markets, manors, and ports that enrich you and reward visitors, and increasing your influence among the six different regions of the river. Or you can sail down that river, collecting trade goods like silk, porcelain, and rice, which you can then deliver to customers like monks, nobles, and artisans in exchange, of course, for certain advantages. As you travel the regions from the spine of the world through the Kitsune woods and complete your journey to sail again, your moves and your fate will be tied to the roll of a lovely custom die. But the roll of a die is tied to something deeper. In this case, the gods do play dice, and you can use a little divine favor to bend destiny in your direction. But be careful, divine favor has limits, so you may want to cultivate support from customers like monks, and you shouldn't spend divine favor like candy. You also shouldn't eat divine favor like candy. I can't stress this enough, none of this is edible. As you build and increase your influence in each region, you'll inch closer to victory by claiming masteries, reaping regional rewards, and adding to your network of powerful associates by leaving happy customers in your wake. With a new setup every time that subtly shifts the landscape, River of Gold earns its name by being refreshing to jump into, but surprisingly deep, and in classic river fashion, is never the same twice. It's a mid-weight game for two to four players that plays in about an hour and it includes that mini expansion where, in classic L5R fashion, you can draw on new powers by teaming up with legendary luminaries from your clan. Or you can play the homebrew version I've invented where the person who spends the longest gazing lovingly at the gold embossed board art is finally allowed to eat it. Told you there was more than one way to win! Check out River of Gold from Office Dog at the link below and at your friendly local game store in August 2024. I'm Amy Dallin, and please like this video and stay tuned to the channel for more great games and good times. And now, I'm gonna eat it. You can't stop me. Amy, no. Amy, you can't eat that. Too late!